Hey guys, welcome back to my NFL Week 3 Power Rankings. This is Part 2. Those of you who are coming from Part 1, hi. Um, this is literally 10 seconds after that video ended. Um, and to those of you who haven't seen Part 1 yet, it should be popping up in your info box or somewhere at the top of your screen in a few seconds. I would be very grateful if you went ahead and watch that video and then came back to this video. Or, I mean, you could just watch this video and then go back to Part 1 after it. Um, but I'd be very, very, very happy if you did that. So that way you can get my full power rankings and not just top 16. It's just that if I do them all in one video, it's so long and I don't want to do that to you. So um, here we go. So this is going to be the top 16 teams. And in this little section, we're going to have, they're having a pretty good season. I mean, they it's not pretty bad. I mean, if you're a fan of one of these teams, you can be pretty proud of your season thus far. And, you know, um, yeah, that's all I can really say. So number 16 here, we have the Texans who dropped down seven. Um, and I know that really they've had a tough season so far. They've played the Chiefs and they've played the Rams, and they've been, I mean, they're really going to have to figure out this offense now that Andre Hopkins is gone. And I mean, they really, they've been underperforming even for playing such good teams as the Ravens and Chiefs, though. I mean, they got beat by 17 by the Ravens when last year. I mean, they, they, they held their own against the Chiefs last year, in my opinion. They seem to be one of the best teams in the league last year and now they're playing like pr they're playing pretty badly uh, I mean uh, we'll have to see they playing up against the Steelers this week and if they lose this one they I mean it's gonna be pretty bad so Texans this is a pretty important game that you have this week and if you lose you might drop down into the bottom 20 of my power rankings we'll have to see how you play and coming up in 15th we have the Jaguars um and again before we go ahead and get into things um, this is before the Thursday night game. Uh, I know when I'm recording this, it's already after the game, but I ranked all these before. The Jaguars would be much lower, um, but I'm not going to talk about the Thursday night game. I'm talking about the Jaguars. So in their first two weeks, we all kind of thought week one was a fluke, and they came out in week two, and they almost beat the Titans. It really kind of felt like a win. And, I mean, we're going to have to see if they can keep it up. Spoiler alert, they don't. But, um, I mean, Gardner Minshew, he looked great in week two, and we're going to have to see what they what they can come up with, one and one, going into week three. <laughs> and then in 14th, we have the Titans, who they, 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 they beat the Jaguars, yes. They only dropped down by one. It's just the fact, um, really, moving by one doesn't mean anything. But they did kind of underperform, in my opinion. They played kind of sloppily in week one, and they come out in week two, and they barely beat the Jaguars, who, in my opinion, they probably should have beaten. Um... And really, just fourteenth is where they go. It's not very, it's not bad. Of course, I'm saying they're having a pretty good season. Um, they're two and zero right now. So, I mean, they're first in their division. So, I mean, if you're a Titans fan, you could be pretty happy with the season you're having right now. Just know that if you guys want to have a serious chance of going deep inside the playoffs, I would kind of step it up right now. Just, just saying, especially with AJ Brown out. And in thirteenth, we have the Steelers, who have been, you know, kind of blowing all my predictions out of the water so far. Uh, Big Ben has been playing great. Their defense has been destroying teams, um, though they haven't been. I mean, they barely beat the Jeff Driscoll quarterback um, Broncos. So, I mean, it isn't spectacular. We've seen them kind of falter, but uh, we're going to have to see if they can, you know, step things up or if they're going to collapse. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then week 12, not week 12, but place 12, we have the Falcons who um, move up. By seven, <laughs> um, because in my opinion they played pretty well against the Cowboys. They really should have. They really, really should have beat the Cowboys. Um, I mean, they 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 played better than them in my opinion, and I mean they, they got. I mean, we all kind of know that the Cowboys got really lucky towards the end, getting that onside kick and then making the drive down the field. I mean, and the Falcons made it to score thirty nine points. So that defense is what's worrying me right now. They've been allowing quite a lot of points so far. I know they've played pretty good teams. But still, um, the reason that they're not even higher is because of that defense. But that offense so far has been looking spectacular, and I think, you know, they could probably win some games like that. They just need to figure out how to recover an onside kick. And then at 11, we have the Raiders, who beat the who, they beat the Saints. So, um, I mean, that's, that's pretty good right there, just beating the Saints. I know... Um, I mean, and I, normally you can say, like, oh, Drew Brees played pretty badly. In my opinion, he played pretty normally. It's just the Raiders' defense was so good, and the Raiders' offense played great. They looked like a team that was Super Bowl contending. I mean, they're 2-0 and right now. They're first in the AFC West. They're looking like a team that could potentially take off. I mean, if they play like they did on a Monday night every single week, 
they they have a hundred percent chance of you know making the playoffs probably. They 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 are looking really well. They just fell outside of the top ten, but still they've been playing pretty well. I don't know how many different ways I can say that. Entering the top ten, we have the Rams. If the Rams win this week against the Bills, they could become a top five teams right like that. But right now, um, we've seen them dominate two NFC East teams, and I mean. Uh, they're looking pretty good. They're two and zero. They play Washington next week. They have a pretty tough game this week, and it, I ha- I think that if they beat the Bills this week, they can probably they can probably cruise to you know a sweet like six and zero or something. So the Rams they're looking great. Their defense has dominated teams. Their offense also has been playing pretty well. Cam Akers has really played better than I thought he would, um, even though he's injured right now. But still, I mean they've been looking pretty well. Moving on. To the Buccaneers who move up two after their win against the Panthers. And the reason they move, they don't move too much up is because, again, it is the Panthers. And because it really was Ronald Jones and Leonard Fournette carrying this team. Which kind of shows me that the Buccaneers, they saw kind of how poorly Tom Brady was playing last week. So then they leaned heavily into the run. And, I mean, it paid off. They won by 14 points against, against the Panthers. So it's not too big of a win, but still, they did get their first win, and the Buccaneers move up a couple, um, mainly because Leonard Fournette had a big game. He didn't last week, so, I mean, we're going to have to see if, they, again, they can keep it up. <laughs> Next up we have, so far, this season is going great. Again, if you're a fan of this team, you should be proud. You should be celebrating. I mean, all, all of these teams are doing great and looking like they're ready to, um, you know, make some runs. So at 8th, we have the Cardinals who bump up by 7. They had a pretty dominant performance against Washington after a pretty good performance against the 49ers. Um, the, the card, I mean, they're, they're, and they're going up against the Lions this week. I'm looking, I mean, they look like a 3-0 team right now. Uh, Kyler Murray has been throwing bombs. DeAndre Hopkins, he has been, uh, he looks like one of the league's top rushers right now. He's rushing for so many yards. Uh, and the, the Cardinals' defense also has been playing great. So the Cardinals right now, I mean... <laughs> it's looking like they're going to, you know, go places. In seventh, we have the Patriots. They 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 bump up one, which really doesn't mean anything, but they do bump up one um, now that they, they just barely lost to the Seahawks, but I don't... Uh, that that kind of puts them in the same. I mean, they they were they had a one lot. They they got down at the one yard line and had a rush um, against a really good team. That kind of shows that you know they they might be on the same level as the Seahawks a bit. Now, obviously, um, they did get a pick six and Cam Newton did run a lot. So I don't know how much you can say, but I mean, again, Cam Newton is playing really well. <laughs> I'm so sorry I've been stumbling through my words. It's like 8 a.m. At six, we have the Saints, who don't really move that much. They, I mean, again, this has a lot to do. I kind of think they should move down a bit, but I don't know. I just rank them all. I don't. I don't sit there and say, "Oh, I think the Saints should move down by two. I just rank them by how well they've been playing so far. And the Saints, while they did lose to the Raiders, they still played pretty well. They looked. I mean, they looked like they were having an off game. I mean, with Michael Thomas out, they were throwing a lot to Alvin Kamara. I, I thought they were getting him back this week, but apparently they're not. <laughs> but um. Alvin Kamara was getting a lot of the snaps. They really need to start spreading the ball out. Maybe to get it to Sanders or Smith. Um, and right now the Saints, they, I mean, they dropped down last week and they're just staying there. They, they, it'll take Michael Thomas to come back and them to start booming for them to move back up. And fifth, we have the Bills who dropped down a couple actually, mainly because of the fact that they let the Dolphins score quite a lot of points on them, um, and they barely, they barely won by just like three or four points. So, I mean, if you're a Bills fan, uh, that is not a good sign. But also, y'all did beat them, and y'all, I mean, y'all have a pretty important game coming up against the Rams. If y'all win this, y'all will be definitely bumped up a bit. The Rams have been looking great, and you guys have also, in my opinion, been looking great. Y'all defense um, has been dominating. Josh Allen, of course, um, I think he has like 700 yards passing so far in two games, and his rushing game has been great. Josh Allen, I mean, has been blowing everyone out of the water, except for me. I had him at first in my preseason power rankings. I keep on flexing how well my predictions that people called stupid are doing. <laughs> so, in fourth, we have the Seahawks, who managed to beat the Patriots. And again, they didn't move up by very much, mainly because, you know, the Bills... The reason they moved up is because the Bills moved down. The, the Bills moved from three to five, so the Seahawks moved up. 
by one. And the Seahawks, I mean, they've just been looking dominant. They've been looking like a really, really good team. And they've just been, like everyone's saying, let Rush cook. And they have. He has been, you know, throwing bombs. They have been playing great. Um, the Seahawks, they are looking like a team. I mean, they, they, I don't know how many ways I can say this again, but they have been playing really, really, really great. And there we had the Chiefs who dropped down by two. Pretty poor performance against the Chargers. I know they won, but the way they've been playing through that whole game, they didn't look too good. I mean, they. I know that um, you know Justin Herbert, he is a pretty good quarterback, but the fact that they struggled and they had to make a comeback against the Chargers, whose defense, I mean, it hasn't been playing. It didn't look too good in week one. So the Chiefs, they dropped down by two, but again, they did win, and their defense did hold. I mean, Justin Herbert was playing great. So if you're a Chiefs fan, I mean, you're, you guys are still doing good, but y'all, I mean, I, I don't know how many ways to say this, but y'all didn't do too well against the Chargers last week. I'm sorry if I'm talking too weird. It's like 8 a.m. I'm going to have to get this video out by like 10. And in second place, we have the Packers, who came out in week came out in week two and completely dominated they they scored 42 to 21 or i think it might have been 45 i don't know but they they beat the um lions their defense is holding strong aaron Rodgers is looking spectacular they move up by two and now they're in the second spot there's only one team that i think is doing better and that is the ravens we bump up by one here they are the ravens um i mean i don't know how i mean they went into texans who i mean they I mean, they played against the Texans, and I mean, the Texans are a very good team. I know they lost DeAndre Hopkins, but they do have a lot of talent on that offense, and they held them to 16 points, and they get in there, and they scored 33 points, and the Ravens, have been, they've been looking really well. All right, thank you guys all so much for watching this video. I'm sorry I've been stumbling through my words. It's pretty early. Um, I haven't gotten anything to eat yet, and I am tired. So, um, I, I'd be, I really appreciate it if you went ahead and watched some of my other videos just to see if you like those. Go ahead and subscribe, like the video. Uh, in my description, you'll find a link to my Twitter and my Instagram. I'd be very, very happy if you follow those. I'm going to start actually posting like during games on my Twitter. Um, maybe not next week, but next week um, I'm going to Raleigh. So, anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. If